a, a per, we have breaking news that we're going to get to in just a second. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go now up to Kevin Takumi. Uh, Kevin, there is a pursuit going on. Uh, it's in Monrovia. Tell us what you can about what's going on. This guy is going really fast. Uh, the CHP is still handling this uh, pursuit. You, and you wonder if this is uh, one of those knuckleheads that's uh, trying to get into a gang and is trying to attract attention by doing this, because he just seems to be, you know, going in and out of in circles in, in neighborhoods and finding himself going in circles trying to find, uh, you know, see how far he can go getting chased and then he'll get arrested and and uh, this right, is how some of that gang initiation goes but uh, because it doesn't seem like he's trying to get away from police he's like he's playing with them it seemed at times he was going to stay in the area of the 57 and the 210 freeways but he finally uh, he's been on and off the freeways around oh he's coming up to another intersection here he's got another he's got a sheriff's unit he almost came in head on with a sheriff's unit you see that was uh, right there and now we're headed back uh, westbound here on a small surface street uh, you've got a lot of units in the area that's uh, or, or in the area i haven't been able to listen in on the sheriff's department yet but since he's been going back and forth on hunting to drive he may be, they may be trying to set up some uh, stop sticks but i haven't had heard that being related to the share uh, to the chp units at this point all right coming through the intersection and going out oh, now he's on the wrong side of the road mm. oh, okay westbound and the eastbound lanes of hunting to drive here there's no traffic up ahead right now up oh, i see a lot of cars just coming up uh head on in the same direction here i'm going to pull out a little bit and show you where those cars are coming up he's got see, he's got he's got cars coming up right head on into him here those are just people that are driving okay now he's going to pull in he's making a u-turn he's he's making a u-turn and coming back that's going to put him back eastbound on hunting to drive here that's twice we've so, seen him do that turn. Kevin, let me ask you this. It's a CHP pursuit because it started on the freeway? It sounded like it was their initial pursuit. I don't know if it was on uh, the freeway or surface streets in the area of Pomona, but uh, they're the ones that started this pursuit and, mm -hmm. uh, and are still in this. Okay, still going through the intersections there. Uh, eastbound, once again, on Huntington, very high speeds. Well, some of those streets are actually... Uh, patrolled by okay, the CHP. He's getting, caught up, he's getting caught up in red light traffic here. He cuts through it. Now we're back again. South, southbound on Crestville here. And he's going to come back westbound. Kevin, does it seem like he's going in the same area over and over? Well, he has been for the last uh, about 10 minutes. He has been going back and forth in this area along, uh, along Huntington Drive here. But it's been, uh, he did that for a while also back in the area of Pomona mm -hmm. and San Dimas. He got off the freeway a couple times at, uh, at Via Verde and the 57, then got back on the freeway and off again. So it's hard to say if he's circling the neighborhood uh, looking for a local place or if he's just doing this to uh, to keep it going here but uh, this pursuit uh, has gotten on and off the freeway several times and kind of uh, uh, been uh, a bit places where you think he's going to hang out for a while and just go circle the block but this is the longest time that he's spent in one area because you know we've talked in the past watching pursuits that sometimes a suspect will go to an area that is familiar to them perhaps wanting to end this pursuit at a home or in front of their mom's house or a place that's familiar but you said he's gone in similar areas in a couple different neighborhood so it's hard to think that one neighborhood is where he's going well, he's going to find himself okay, at a dead end here of, pretty soon it, it, into, into a back alley we're in the area of Crestfield and Maynard here um, uh -huh. like I said sheriff's department is uh, is monitoring okay the car is stopping right, like really? one person out uh, yeah. the driver driver oh, like wow. got out for a second but then the car kind of kept rolling so we got back in it and wow. okay now he's back in the car eastbound here through a back alleyway that was an unusual move. It was almost like he was yeah, taunting the, de the, 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 the pursuer there, the deputy of the CHP, whoever was following them. It, it almost okay, now like they've blocked off them. that northbound turn. Now we're still going through the alleyway here. You say they've blocked it off. He's coming up upon the block? No, he went past that. Okay. They had that one side right, We're still in this residential area just south of, uh, of Huntington, one alley south of Huntington here. We're all right, coming back out to the street and then uh, going southbound turn. That's going to keep him in this residential area. And he's going, uh, this is going to be westbound on Maynard now. 
Uh, you can see he's accelerating once again. Like so, he got out of the car for a moment, and then as the CHP unit came back on him, he hopped back into the car and took off once again. Let me just warn the folks who live in this area, and, and you know where you are, that I know it's exciting that you can hear the helicopter overhead, you hear the, the sirens, the officers are, are in the area. There's a lot of commotion going on. The last thing you want to do is go outside and see what's going on. Lock your doors, stay indoors. This guy could bail out of this car at any moment and go right into your house, take you hostage, and do all kinds of trouble. So this is just advice that we usually get from uh, uh, Jim Holcomb, who's our police expert. And, he, and the advice is always, always, always to lock your doors and not give this guy a chance to do any more harm. It's interesting that this uh, driver has decided to say on the surface routes because, Kevin, is he still pretty close to the freeway? Uh, not really. It's going to take him a little while to get back to the freeway, okay. getting over to Huntington Drive, and then get back over to Grand or someplace to get back on. Uh, like I'm trying to... I'm still listening in on the sheriffs. Okay, you see a couple of cars having to pull off to the right here. He's still tracking. They're still running at about 70 miles an hour here on Surface Street. Okay, this is good. This will take him back out to Huntington eventually if they can, if he can zigzag back around. But I think. Uh, it looks like the sheriff's department started blocking off some of those streets once he came into the neighborhood. Okay, we, okay, this is going to take us back out on the Huntington here. We're going to cross over the uh, over the San Gabriel uh, riverbed here, and this is going to put us back into Irwindale. Once we cross over this dark spot, you're going to see here. Once we get to the other side of the riverbed, that's going to put us on the Irwindale side. Well, if he's trying to find find the freeway, he's he's heading in that direction. Okay, they're advising the city of Irwindale that this one's coming. This is coming into their uh, yeah. into their city limits here. Um, he's pe pecked it up. We're going to track it. The airship's tracking him, and we're tracking him about 100, 100 plus miles an hour here. Wow. All right, this is back out to Irwindale. He's going to take a southbound turn here, and now he's going to have a, a chance to get onto the freeway again mm -hmm. uh, at uh, on Irwindale or Boulevard entrance to the freeway. So we'll have to see what he does here as he comes up to it. Can you figure? Have you figured out what kind of car right. it is? There he is. He's getting on the freeway right now. It, yeah, it looks like it's a newer model once he gets into the light, but it, it kind of looks like a, maybe a newer model, possibly a, a Chrysler 300, but I haven't heard the exact description, but it does look like it's a yeah. newer model Chrysler 300. Okay. okay, so which direction is he going now? He got on the freeway here, 210, and mm -hmm. that's going to take us westbound. Westbound 210 here, and he's uh, picked up the speeds. Now, something he did earlier when he was on the 57 freeway is that he cut in front of a couple of big rig semis and then slammed on the brakes trying to make them crash uh, so that they would uh, be able to um, dodge a CHP at that point. That was a pretty daring move that we heard on the scanners. Uh, but now you can see we're here moving. Uh, Okay, we're coming. We're going to be coming up to the 605 split, but he's over in the far left lane. So it looks like we're going to stay on the 210. Nope, he's coming back. Yeah, he's going to get off of the freeway again. Exit the freeway. He's getting off at Mount Olive again. That's where he got off before. So we're kind of staying in this area, not too straying too far. But like I said earlier, when we were in the city of Pomona and also hearing this in the city of San Dimas, uh, this pursuit was going. Uh, was got had gotten off and on and off the freeway several times. Okay, we're coming back out. This this uh, off ramp's going to dead end out into out into uh, the uh, Huntington again. Okay, now he's turning back eastbound on Huntington. Okay, we're getting back into that place that we were just at about, uh, about five minutes ago there before he headed into Irwindale. It's interesting to note that there's not that much traffic on these streets. Right now, he's on the correct side of the road, but in the past, he's been dri driving on the wrong side of the road. And the question would be why, because the road's fairly open. Wouldn't you agree, Kevin? Oh, dangerous, dangerous. So close to those cars. I'm sorry, say that again, Christine. I'm sorry, listening to the police. Okay. It sounds like they're trying to set up some spike strips in the area. We're back in that area once again at Crestfield and Maynard here. Again. So uh, the sheriffs are trying to set up, if they can, in, in, a, in a place here, to, uh, some spike strips. Any identification on the driver? Any any guess at all on the driver? No, no guess. And then the plates, uh, there weren't, there aren't any plates on the vehicle. That they, they tried running. Okay, driver's door is opening again. Car's coming to a stop. Driver's goes. running out. Okay, he's running. One person getting out of the car. Okay, he's back into that alleyway he was in before when he tried to get out. Eastbound in the alleyway here. So he's coming up to that point. Oh, 
Oh, that's where he stopped. Okay. Well, that's what we were talking he's about. To, it. You know, he's you, trying you to jump the, the fence. Okay, he's still moving in the alley. Or you still have CHP CHP officers coming in. Okay, they brought the car in to block him in. 